Hey guys, it's me, Mimi, and welcome back to my channel. Now today, we're going to be continuing the celebration of the newest Marvel movie, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, by doing a tutorial of the character Carnage. So, if you want to see how I do that, then make sure to keep on watching. Now, the first step is actually not makeup. The actual first step is to create our set. So, I was really inspired by the Venom and Carnage trailer footage, especially the parts where Carnage has these appendages coming out of his body in order to attack Venom. I thought that that was really, really cool when I was watching that footage, and I wanted to try and recreate it with my own 3D set. So the way that I did this was I went to my local grocery store and I grabbed some plastic tablecloths, red electric tape, a lot of red and black paint, and paper envelopes. So first I took the tape and I positioned it in order to make an outline for my body to stand in so that the 3D pieces would be in proportion to my body. And then I painted with red and black paint and just blended out and around all of that outline. And then I continued to use the tape to tape together a bunch of rolled up paper envelopes, which again, I painted with red and black. And then I taped those onto the actual set that I painted. And then I painted those onto the big backdrop. And then I just kept measuring back and forth to make sure that it looked proportional to the rest of my body. So that was the actual first step. Now to move on to the actual makeup tutorial portion. The next step that I did off screen was to put on a hairnet over my hair because we're gonna be putting on a bald cap later and I wanted to protect the hairs on my head and flatten it as much as possible. And then after that, in order to protect the rest of the hair on my face, aka my eyebrows, I decided to grab some band-aids and just stick them on there real quick. Alright, now that the brows are protected, it's time to glue on the bald cap. To do this, we're just gonna take a bald cap and latex glue and just place it on. Now that we've gone from school lunch lady to the turkey that she's cooking for Thanksgiving, it's time to start painting. To do this, I'm going to take the Mayron Makeup Paradise AQ color palette and dip into the color black and start drawing out some outlines. And now for a mouth outline. And with that done, it's time to move on to some more of Carnage's facial features. Now one thing that I really liked about his movie design was that there was a lot of dimension to it, aka his body wasn't all red. Actually, the front of his face has a lot of black to it, so I wanted to incorporate that element into this look. So the next step is to draw an outline between the black and the red portions of the face. Now that we have those outlines drawn out, it's time to fill them in. Starting off with the front of the face in Mayron shade in black. Next, we're gonna fill in the eye outlines with shade white. And then we're going to finish off with the top of the head with Mayron shade in red. Don't forget to blend with the black a little bit, including the eye areas. Now that that is done, it's time to start drawing out and filling in a top row of teeth. And now we're going to start making the outline for Carnage's tongue. And 
now that we've got that tongue outline done, it's time to go back into the Mehron shade in red and start filling outside of the lines. All right, things are starting to look really good. So now we can go on into some more details. Next up, we're gonna use Mehron shade in light pink to start filling in the outline of the tongue. After the tongue is filled in with that light pink, it's time to draw and fill in the outlines for the bottom row of teeth. Then move back to the light pink to make some gums. Now we're going to pull out some colors from the big Mehron 30 pan palette. First we're going to pull out the shade gray and use that to fill in the inner mouth portion. Next, we're going to divide that gray portion using shade Wild Orchid. And then again with shade Violet. And then one last time, we're going to stack some black on top of that. The reason for stacking all of these progressively darker shades on top of each other like this is to create a more cavernous look to the inside of the mouth. Now we're going to continue with the black and clean up those teeth outlines. We're also going to use the red to add some bloody lines inside the mouth so that it looks a little bit more carnage -y. Now it's time to start wrapping up some of these tongue details. To do that, we're just going to continue with the red and split the tongue in half. And then put some black on top of that. And also clean up some of those outer lines. And then go back with the red and just add a bunch of details on the tongue. And then finally, we're going to take the Mehron shade and light blue, and we're going to use that to create a saliva effect all over the mouth and the tongue. Alright, now that those tongue and mouth details are done, we're going to start powdering some things down. So I'm going to take the sugar pill shade in Bulletproof, and I'm going to use that to powder in the black Mehron on the face that we placed down earlier. Next, I'm going to grab my white makeup powder from Party City and powder over the eyes. Then I'm going to go back to Sugar Pill and grab shade Love Plus and use that to powder all over the red on the head and the body. And finally, I'm going to grab the Sugar Pill shade in Kiss Kiss and powder the red again. After cleaning up and blending the powder to make sure that it's perfect, I'm going to go back to Mehron Makeup for the final steps. The final steps are going to be to create skin texture in detail, so I'm going to use the red on the black. And then finally, I'm going to use the black on the red. And 
for wrapping everything up, we have to go and say hello to Maestro Figaro. He's been sitting in the cat tree next to my makeup station for the whole video and wanted him to say hello to everybody. Say hi, Figaro. Alright, buddy, see you later. And now we have someone new to introduce to the channel, and that is Princess Sushi. She is about four months old, and she is so cute and sweet and just a wonderful member of our family and actually she is really really good friends with Figaro so I think it's fitting that she comes and joins him for this video today so say hi sushi now say bye sushi and with that this is carnage now if you like this video and I hope that you do make sure to like comment and subscribe also, this video is going to be part of my Halloween 2021 makeup tutorial series, so definitely make sure to hit that bell icon for notifications for every time that I post a new video so that you guys don't miss the new tutorials coming out later this month. But with that, I love you guys so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys!